Good morning, sweet animals. Well, it's morning here, and I am waking up in the woods, which is amazing. The woods has been rainy all night, so it's a little wet, and there are ample mosquitoes, and I have pretty bad poison ivy right now, so um, this is a moment of persevering, getting up early so that I could shoot this video before the gathering that I'm at begins. And I'm excited because I pulled shark today. So we're gonna go on a journey again in the water. So go ahead and lower your eyes and come into your breath. Just breathe deep down into the bottom of your lungs and exhale out. If any sound wants to come, a nice long sigh, you can let that sound with your exhale. And now envision yourself at the edge of the ocean. You're standing on the shore and you're getting your snorkel gear on. And someone is with you, a friend or beloved family member, whoever it is, just kind of feel them also preparing. And you set off into the water, you start to swim with your flippers and your mask and you're immediately brought into the watery world of a coral reef. All the fish and anemones and starfish are below you, maybe even octopus or sea turtles. And as you swim, you're pointing out things to the one who is with you, sharing in the moments of experiencing this reef together. And you can feel this person's joy and excitement and all that comes as you're moving through the space of the sea. And then uh, suddenly both of you can feel something near and through the water you see the shape of a shark. And you can't tell what kind it is yet, but it's large and it's moving towards you. And so notice any feelings that come up in you, envisioning this scene, this moment of encountering a shark in its home. And as you're noticing any feelings that you hold, check in and see if you can feel what the person who's with you is also feeling, what's coming up in them. And that ability to tune in and recognize the feelings, the emotions of those around us. That's the shark's message to us this morning. It's honoring the sense that we have that is not really recognized in our culture today. It's a very real ability 
that we all have to know what someone around us may be experiencing internally without any words or body language just the feeling of it the vibration of emotion and so that's shark's invitation to you to explore and play with all the ways that this biological ability that you have this sense can be deepened and expanded and and just to notice around you in your day-to-day -day life when you can feel someone you may not even be in the same room as the person the same city or state or country you could be halfway around the world and feel someone else and so learning to distinguish that from your own feelings is really important and give gratitude to shark for this opportunity to feel We thank Shark for all the ways that it stewards the ecosystems that it's a part of, the vital role it plays in the oceans, on the planet. And we can honor Shark for oftentimes feeling the fear of someone in the water and that being a sense that they use to distinguish prey and why so many mistake bites happen. <laughs> oh, you're not food. <laughs> but you were afraid like my prey is. So to the power animal shark that very much relies on the sense that we also contain to pick up on vibrations of feelings from those around us. And if you have pets or animals near you, you can tune in and feel what they're feeling too. And that starts a the path to animal communication to be able to check in in that way. So whatever, whatever you felt when you sensed the presence of shark in the water with you, whatever the one with you felt, Just let that be okay and continue to swim along and the, the shark swims along in its home. And you see other miraculous things as you journey through the reef. And at some point you come back to shore and you and the one that you were with on this journey and just sit silently looking out over the ocean in full wonder of what it contains, the miracle of life that the ocean holds, all the ways the pieces fit together so precisely. And take another couple nice deep breaths as you come back into your body and 
You can open your eyes and just want to thank you for spending time in this way. I think I only got 10 mosquito bites. <laughs> so, um, thanks to the mosquitoes too. <laughs> May they be prosperous so that dragonflies and birds and bats have plenty of food. <laughs> so, have a wonderful day. Oh, and of course, if you found this video useful, if you'd like to share it with a friend, please subscribe to my channel and like it and all that jazz. Thank you.